Yes, next week is Thanksgiving. And so to the, to today's training, today's training is entitled, Guess Who's Coming for Thanksgiving? That's what we're talking about today. Guess who's coming for Thanksgiving? Next week is one of the biggest holidays of the year. One of the biggest holidays of the year. And, and I, and, 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 the, and so the title of this teaching, if I had to have a title, if I, if it was, I was in church, I say the name of this sermon is guess who's coming for Thanksgiving. So I told you it's going to be interactive. So coach Dan got a few questions and Hey there, Erica, uh, Erica has joined us. Fountain has joined us. Welcome. Welcome. So here's the question. Who's coming next week for Thanksgiving? Put it in the chat line. Who's coming for Thanksgiving? Who's coming for Thanksgiving? I want to know who's coming for Thanksgiving. Um, family is coming. Family, family. Okay, yeah, family is coming. Who else is coming for Thanksgiving? Who else is coming for Thanksgiving? Dolores, you said family. Who else is coming for Thanksgiving? And there's a reason why I'm setting this up the way I'm setting it up. Family and friends. Fountain, you're exactly right. I sure we are going out to dinner, hubby and the kids. Okay, Erica. All right. And so, so, um, so Erica, maybe you can help somebody out when you, when you and the hubby and the kids didn't necessarily go out. Who came for Thanksgiving? Who's coming to somebody else's house for Thanksgiving? I'm really this really is going to make sense in a minute. Um, we said family. Anybody else? Anybody else? Who's coming for Thanksgiving? Anybody else? Guests are coming. Yes, Doctor Doctor Crawford. You know, family, friends, and we're going to invite a few guests. Car. Somebody said customers. Now, now we're getting hot. It's getting hot, you guys. Who else is coming? We customers. Who else is coming though? Who else is coming? I want to show you how this is going to work. Who else is coming? We got customers coming. Who else is coming? All right. So listen. Dr. Crawford is getting hot. Customers is coming for Thanksgiving. And business partners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, Shirley. Customers and business partners is coming for Thanksgiving. But I'm going to tell you who's really, really coming. And all of those answers that you gave are absolutely right. But as a business owner, as someone that understands that this coming next weekend, Black Friday, is one of the biggest shopping weekends of the year. Thank Thanksgiving, the Thursday prior, is one of the biggest times where families from um, come together, new family members. You guys are getting hot. Here's the deal. Guess who's coming for Thanksgiving? People with pain are coming for Thanksgiving. People that like smoking weed are coming for Thanksgiving. People that are already overweight and based on the national average is probably obese is coming for Thanksgiving. People that are broke and that's going to look to borrow some money because the first of the month hasn't came yet is coming for Thanksgiving. People that can't sleep at night is coming for Thanksgiving. I need you to understand that when, Pete, when, when family is walking in the door on Thanksgiving, they are going to represent one of the categories that I just mentioned. And, and so it's very, very uh, it is a moment of opportunity for you to, when those people come for Thanksgiving, the Lord say, people who need everything we have at Wakanda. Absolutely right. So, when the, the dope man that has the dope, when the people are looking for a fix, is the one that's going to get paid. So what I want to do is prepare the mindset. The mindset is when you go to Thanksgiving or when you are hosting Thanksgiving, if you're hosting Thanksgiving, 
you have to be make certain that you are prepared for who's coming. Is, is this making sense? You, I want you to make certain that you are adequately prepared for who's coming. Now, put this in the chat line. Somebody help me out. How do you prepare for who's coming for Thanksgiving? Somebody put it in the chat line. How do we prepare for that? Make samples. Good job, Dr. Crawford. How else do we prepare? Cook with Delta 8 for dessert. <laughs> Bake with Delta 8. Thank, thank you, midwife. Somebody, so midwife say cook, bake with Delta 8. I'm telling you, that Delta 8 been getting folks straight. Make certain it's 25 milligrams. Otherwise, you'd be responsible for them driving. Never. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Make sure they have a warning also sitting on the side of the plate. Absolutely. So, so, so come on, make samples. What else can we do? How do we prepare for those people that are coming for Thanksgiving? I'm really, the reason I'm asking you this is because I want to condition your mind and your mindset as to how to look at these opportunities. It's not just family and friends and guests are coming over and we're going to sit down and eat. No, these are opportunities because those individuals that are coming for Thanksgiving is coming with a problem that you have the ability to solve but you can't solve the problem if you're not prepared. So I promise these are not trick questions. So I'll just help you out. Dr. Taz Crawford says that we ought to make samples. You should make samples. Now, here's the deal. You don't just make samples just for sample sake. You, pro you provide samples, here we go, for, in for the individuals that have a need for what you're sampling. So while people are talking about how good the mac and cheese is, while people are talking about the football games or the basketball games that's going to be on television, you're having conversation about their health. You're having conversation about, and, and you're not having it to sell them anything. You're having it because as soon as somebody say they got pain, you grab your sample, you put it on the pain spot, and you go somewhere else and come back and ask them how it feel, and they're gonna forget that they even had pain, right? But what follows? And this is why I say, how do you prepare? You must not only have the sample, but have the product ready for purchase. Have it available for purchase. Yeah, I'm not saying you need to have a, a big vending table at Thanksgiving. I'm saying have it somewhere available for purchase. If it's, so the other piece is, Ms. Phyllis just said it. Well, let's say you have those guys or those gals that come and they already came and they smell like a forest preserve. Tell them you got something that's going to help them. And then when you tell them, let me tell you something about people that I've learned as I've been talking to individuals that like getting high. As I've been talking to individuals that like getting high, I'm going to give you a secret that's going to um, I'm going to give you a secret that's going to cause you to get their attention. By Put it in the chat line. How many of you have talked to somebody that like getting high about CBD and the person that you talked to about CBD that like getting high off THC and recreational marijuana told you that's not going to work for me. I like the real stuff. Y'all put it in the chat line. If that's you, if you've heard that as a standard client objection, why don't you go ahead and put that in the chat line? If you talk to somebody that you know, like I heard that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, y'all, y'all sometimes, yes, I've heard that. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Because I want, thank you, Michelle. Uh, I heard that. I heard that. Um, Dolores heard that. So all of you have heard that. Now, let me tell you how I have overcame that from every single person that I've heard that from. Now, I have literally overcame that from every single person I've heard that from. Here is, you're not going to believe me when I tell you. It's going to be so simple. Here is what I tell them. I take the Delta 8 Flight 50. Don't go with 25. 
go with flight 50, the gummy. And I say to them, and I'm certain it works with, 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 with the pre-roll, but, but that gummy, I say to them, hey, listen, I know you like getting, I know you the real deal. And you didn't kill a lot of, you didn't smoke a lot of trees. And I know it gets you straight. I'm going to give you this one gummy, but don't take the whole thing. I'm telling you, you ain't had nothing like this. Don't take the whole thing. Take half. Just take half. Oh, man, I can handle the whole. I don't need that. Take half. Whenever I tell them just take half of the gummy, I don't know if they're going to do it. Sometimes they've done it right then, and while I'm sitting there, the buzz came. I had one goofy take the whole thing and messed himself up. I had a young lady that took half and text me back some explicit language um, that I, t- I text to midwife, uh, uh, Miss Phyllis, that it was so funny. But when you tell them to take half, it messes with their ego. Here we go. So now they're either going to do one or two things. They're going to take the half just to prove to you that what you have don't work. Or their ego is going to have them take the whole to prove to you that they can handle whatever you got. Is this making sense? And no, no matter whether they take the half or whether they take the whole, here we go. Are we ready? It's going to work, and they're going to come back. I am actually getting ready to do an order just for Delta 8 gummies. Because all of the cats that I know that smoke weed, I'm giving it to them, and they're asking for more. Is this making sense to you? I'm just trying to tell you how to work with who's coming for Thanksgiving. Y'all, y'all talk back to me. That, that, does that sound like that? It makes some sense. Does, does that seem, I, I want you to try that strategy because when you do, it's going to work. And then all you have to do is you're going to have to close them. That means sell them more of the product. All right. Erica said, I need to purchase it for my brother. Listen, I did it for my brother-in-law and he didn't believe me. And then I wind up sending him about $1,000 worth, and he started selling. And the main thing he was selling was the dang on flight, flight filthy Delta 8s. Uh, so so that's, that's one of the things that we can do. So we talked about pain. Uh, brothers, Merry Christmas. <laughs> exactly. And I'm glad you said that, because we talked about pain. We talked about Delta 8. The reason why I mentioned those two things specifically, because I understand that those two things um, can give anybody an immediate effect. Does that make sense? It's not possible. I don't think it's possible. I could be wrong. I don't think it's possible to take a half a Delta 8 Flight 50 or a full Delta 8 Flight 50 and not experience an effect over the, you know, within a short period of time. For the most part, when you put that extreme pain relief on somebody's pain, that pain is going to go away. So you, you want to position yourself to make certain that you are ready for who's coming for Thanksgiving. Now, here, here, here is why I was appreciative of Erica saying, brothers, Merry Christmas. Because the next thing, the, the next person that's coming for Thanksgiving is you. And you're coming at Santa Claus early. Why is that? Because you want them to buy from you on Black Friday. You want them to buy from you um, even around Christmas time and use your products as gifts that they're going to give. But you're going to be the giver of the gift come Thanksgiving. So that means the people that you know that like to cook, you bring them the garlic fire. And and some of you may have heard me talk about this this morning. And as you know, I kind of parallel what we talk about in the morning. I talk about it again and just expound upon it on Wednesday evenings because everybody's not on on Wednesday morning. So I want to make certain that we're getting out that information. But you want to use this as an opportunity to push your product um, by giving it um, as gifts. You may give the person that like to cook, give them the seasoning. 
You may give the person that you know um, has inflammation, give them that. Um, you may give the person that's str struggling with weight loss, get them started. All, all of these things are unique opportunities for you to sow a seed whereby over a short period of time, you'll be able to reap a harvest. And so that's how um, Coach Dan is recommending that you utilize this next, this, this upcoming holiday um, Thanksgiving by knowing who's coming for Thanksgiving and properly preparing for their arrival. And then, and then make certain that you be the giver of the gift on this Thanksgiving day. Now, we also understand that Black Friday, here, so we dealt with the customer. Now, we also understand that Black Friday is day after. So this is a unique opportunity for you to have um, your product available at Thanksgiving to sell as gifts. So you may give gifts, but you can also use this as an opportunity to sell as gifts. And understand, you guys, that people this coming weekend is in the mindset to shop. They are in the mindset to shop. So you want to make certain that you package your stuff, you present yourself in a way where it challenges their cycle, uh, their, their, their impulse to buy from you. Um, y'all know Miss Phyllis just say it the way it is. Look, y'all about to go and spend all this money with everybody else. I need you to support my business. So there's three ways to ask for money um, for, 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 for this Black Friday. The first way is to come straight out and ask for support, right? Just come straight out. I am in business. I launched this new business, or you guys know I'm in business. We got a big, big special that's going on right now, and I'd like for you to support my business. The second thing is look at it as an opportunity, present it as an opportunity of a lifetime. How do you do that? You do that with your personal story, your personal testimony. When you, when you talk about, um, you know what, since I started this business, my income has increased X, Y, Z percentages. And you're talking to individuals about it. There's a unique opportunity. I can show you how to get in the industry. Or I can show you how to benefit from the company that I am with that has done um, over $5 million in the past two years and on pace. There you go, Jewel. You got it. You see where I'm going. A good coach, good trainers tell them is to tell you what you tell them what you told them, tell them what you told them again, and tell them what you told them again. Most times the principles of sales, the principles of direct selling are the same. They're just presented in a myriad of ways based on who you're talking to. Jewel, you got it right. Position your proposition. This is a unique opportunity this coming Black Friday for you to take your business absolutely to the next level. And so what I want you to do, as you've heard me talk about before, put your head in the sand. What does that mean? That means the only thing you can focus on is what's in front of you. Now, here's the question. What's in front of you? What's in front of you is advancement. And with that comes some money. What's in front of you is the Jamaica trip. What's in front of you is increasing your revenue. What's in front of you is helping save somebody's life. So over the next, over the next uh, 13 days, what's in front of you is a unique opportunity to exponentially blow up your business. But you got to have your head in the sand. You got to have your head in the sand. That means you have to stay focused on what it is you're doing. And you have a unique opportunity to be prepared for who's coming for Thanksgiving. Listen, are there, before I transition to um, this next little, uh, this last little piece, I want to address, are there any questions about um, anything that's been happening thus far. If I can answer it, I'm going to. If not, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to pass it to somebody that can. Question about the flat belly sample gummies. Do you think they are helpful without the rest of the flat belly lifestyle system? I personally only give out samples 
that I know is going to have the greatest impact. Now, here's what I do know about the flat belly, um, the flat belly uh, gummies. For some that I've sampled with, they told me that they felt a suppression of appetite, meaning they did not crave food. They had a suppression of appetite just from the sample. Some I said didn't really have impact. So how did I, prop how did I position that properly? Well, I just simply said, yes, it's an entire system. So what you could do, so watch this, Erica. Let's say you sample it. You help them psychologically in advance manage their expectations. This is only one sample, and it, it, everybody's body is different. For some, we've been told that it suppresses your appetite. So as soon as you say that to the person, this is the psychology, this is how people think. As soon as you say that, automatically their mindset gets in agreement with what you said. So when they take the sample, guess what happens? They're telling themselves already, before the sample is even in their system, that it's going to suppress their appetite. And as a result, most times, guess what happens? Their appetite is suppressed. Are y'all seeing it? So if you're going to give it as a sample, don't just give it without explanation right? Because you don't want to just get it, give it and say, take this, sample this, and you walk away and they don't feel anything. And because they didn't feel anything immediately, now you got to go back and try to explain it. No, you help them on the front end. That's right. Help them on the front end. If you give them the sample, you tell them, its job is to suppress your appetite, but it affects everybody's bodies differently based on a bunch of factors. And then you say, in order to benefit from the entire, uh, in order to gain the results you are looking for, I want to plug you into the flat belly lifestyle system so that you can get the results that I get. Are y'all seeing how I'm positioning the sample? Are you seeing how I'm positioning the actual product and the system itself? That's a great question. Thank you, Eric. Any more questions? Any more questions about how to position a sample? Y'all told y'all saw how I positioned the sample for the for the uh, what it for 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 the flight fifty delta eight. What, what I, where, where I'm getting at with this is that you cannot just, I, I never just give it away. I position everything. I position everything. When I was selling um, radio, when I was selling radio, advertising, what I would do is sell my client on the upgrade or increasing their buy when I wrote the first contract. What did that mean? What does that mean? Well, when we start, hey, I, my average monthly sale was $3,293 per month, per client. And what I would say to them is, this is where we're gonna go. But once we get to this point, then I need to position you where we can double how much you're bringing in. And this is how we're going to do it. So they knew in the beginning that I've already set a benchmark for when they was gonna spend more money with me. Similar, similarly, what you wanna do, all right, I got you, I'm about to be done. So similarly, what you wanna do is position the samples, position everything that you have um, so that they will know you're coming back and you're coming back to ask for more or to give them more. That's it. I hope this was helpful. I got to shut it down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so <laughs> you were gone, boy. You were gone. <laughs> hey, I like this kind of stuff. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> we can tell. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're you welcome. I always say you know that, but I'm like, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>